In this presentation, we will work an example problem related to steps to take to create the departmental income statement. Here's a review of the four steps that we will take to create the departmental income statement. We will accumulate revenue and direct expenses by department, allocate indirect expenses to departments, then allocate service department expenses to operating departments, and finally, we will create or prepare the departmental income statement. So our first step is to accumulate revenues and direct expenses by department. This should be a fairly straightforward process. This is going to be the worksheet that we will be using. We've got up top the allocation base. This is what we're going to be using to allocate certain items, typically being the indirect items. We've got the total expenses. This is an item that we're going to assume we know. In other words, we know what the total expenses are. What we need to do is break those total expenses out into the departments sometimes this will be easy with the direct expenses sometimes more difficult such as with the indirect expenses and ultimately the service department we then have our departments we've got the service department one service department two these are non-revenue generating departments so they are there to support of course the revenue generation departments because the revenue is the goal of the company so we are going to apply indirect costs as well as direct costs to the service departments and then we'll take those and we will then allocate them to the operating department or sales departments departments that have revenue related to it we're going to say there's two of those sales department one and two again these are operating departments departments that have both revenue and expenses departments for which we will finally apply after we've found out what the service department expenses will be or costs will be we will ultimately apply them out to sales department one and two first thing we will have are the direct expenses now the the revenue of course should be fairly straightforward we will be able to on our income statement allocate out the revenue by the departments the sales departments or operating departments because of course we know who you know which departments made those sales and then we have the expenses which we have the two components the direct expenses and these are going to be the ones that are going to be easily allocated so we're going to say here's the total direct expenses we're going to allocate those out by department the service department one service department two sales department or operating department one and two we know where those go in this case because they're direct expenses in other words these people that earn these salaries work for exclusively these departments and therefore it is easy for us to apply out the salaries to them supplies we're going to say is the same way in this example we've got the 1500 we have the supplies broken out they're already broken out by department uh, within our, our accounting system and therefore it's easy for us to break them out as direct expenses to the departments that we're consuming.